crushed peppers were taken, glasses of organic Bose beer was served, and a folk band played music to complete the party. At Rise Homegrown's annual harvest party, volunteers and coordinators gathered together to end another successful growing season. When we went up in May, that roof was kind of like quiet, and there's not a lot of life. And then uh, you got to see it just kind of grow, and you got to see these beautiful vegetables just start off being this small to like being like as tall as I am. Um, and then afterwards, you know, kind of the circle of life happens and they start slowly withering away because their seasonality ends for certain vegetables and um, it's incredible now. This feels like the culmination of things, of that entire season, seeing everything wrap up like that. There wasn't only celebrating at the event, guests also got a chance to drill and build their own compost to keep the food cycle going. Self-made composts were made on the spot by ripping up old newspapers and recycling bins. With the success of this season's harvest, Joshna Maharaj has found that urban farming makes a great difference to the food served on campus. Uh, so we're really excited about having this beautiful farm fresh food. Uh, the fact that we have a complete field to table story right on campus is amazing and we are leading the way uh, on campuses in this province and in the country uh, about urban with urban agriculture uh, and it's it's been so amazing and so uh, rewarding to see what the presence of a farm on the campus can do and just to see the amazing volume of food that's been produced. Although volunteers are the ones planting the seeds, everyone was invited to tour and explore the edible rooftop garden. It's a unique way for community members to witness the future of urban agriculture. Now that the season's over, Rise Homegrown will continue growing with their fundraising activities for the upcoming year to support their crops. You can catch their next season in March. This is Oriana Wong for RUTV News.